Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 15 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering characters in C. And what a character is, is it's just like a symbol on your keyboard. So you have letters on your keyboard, you have numbers, you have different symbols such as pound, ampersand, percent, etc. And basically, uh, there's a way to hold a value uh, such as any symbol on your keyboard in C. So um, before, we'd make uh, different variable types like integer to hold whole number values. We do things like double to hold um, sorry variables that hold uh, variables with decimal places. But now there's a way um, to hold a character or any uh, anything on your keyboard. So this is pronounced character, I believe. Um, you can call it whatever you want, uh, pronounce it however you want, I don't really care, as long as you know it's a character value. And what a character is, is basically it just holds a very small um, number range. Um, but all you have to really kind of know right now, or you can figure it out, but basically it holds a character, uh, just something on your keyboard. So um, to give it a character or give it a value, we just use the assignment operator and we use a single quote and then we can just put in uh, the value that we want. So let's put in a J like that. So now what this is going to do is it's going to pass this J onto C. And technically this J has a number value. It's not really passing the character on. So like C isn't getting the, the character of J. What it's really receiving is a, diff a certain number. It's receiving, I believe, yeah, J is a 106, I think, on the um, codes and um, you'll learn that in a second, but uh, basically what it's doing is passing on a certain number to C. So when we go to print this, we use a certain uh, format specifier, and it's percent %C for character, and what that does is it, it prints out the character that it's given. So here, um, before we use percent %D, percent %F, uh, you know how those things work, and what we're for our variable type we're using uh, C, or a character. So if I went to run this right now, I would get a value, of, or I'd get J in the console. As you can see, I get J right here in the console. So now, um, there's a way that I can just give this a number value. Like I said before, all these, all these symbols just have, technically they only have a number value. That's really what they have. And characters is kind of a nice way to hold these number values, because it doesn't, doesn't, it's not a very large, variable type. All it really holds is a small number value. But when we pass this on, it's just giving that value to C. So, um, let's see here, we have, uh, I've loaded up this character map here, and this is the ASCII character codes, and this stands for American Standard Codes for Informational Interchange. Um, it's a long, lengthy phrase that basically means character set. So, um, somebody or some group of people a long time ago created these character sets, and basically um, every character has a number value. So as you can see here, this capital A has a value of 65 in the character set. So I could, if I wanted to print out um, a capital A in our program, all I'd have to do is I just have to give it a 65. So I could just give C a 65 like that, and as you can see if I went to run this, I just get a capital A. So really, as you can see, the C is only really holding a number value. It's not technically holding um, the, the, it's not technically holding the symbol that you're passing, it's just holding a number value. And since C knows the character sets and everything, it um, prints out what this value is associated to. So what's happening here is we, we create this variable called C, 65 is passed on to C, and when we go to print this, it says, okay, C has a value of 65, and this percent %C converts it into that character that it represents. So, um, so yeah, C has a 60, value of 65, and it converts that value basically into what, um, what its character value is. So, um, you might be wondering, okay, that's great, um, I don't really see how this is useful in any way. And, um, to be honest, it's 
it won't be the most useful thing, um, but it is important to learn what a character is, and it's basically just a smaller type, um, smaller value to hold uh, numbers, basically, but we use it um, just to hold characters, because it's, it's a large enough type to hold all the values, all these different number of values, all the different characters, and that's why we use the character value, or the character variable, whatever. So, um, one use, one good use of characters, though, is let's say I wanted to, I'll give this a J. So the J has a value of 106 on the um, character set, and if the character set kind of works nice because, as you can see here, our J has a value of 106. Now, if I wanted to capitalize any of these letters, all I have to do is subtract a value of 32, and that would give me um, its equivalent number for the capital. So A, or let's use our value of J, 106 minus 32 is going to give us a 74, which creates a capital J. So for instance, I could just go like this, minus 32, and I'm going to build and run this, and as you can see, I would get a capital J. And that's how characters can kind of be useful. I could even um, just make this a value of 106, and I would get the exact same result, as you can see, B capital J. So C really just holds um, the value that these characters are equal to. So um, what I want you to get out of this tutorial is there's a, a, a type called character, and you can declare a variable just like you've done with integers and doubles before, and C is just... Um, so we create a character and we call it C and we give this character certain number values. So how this program is going to work, we declared character of C. So C is going to get this value of J. What's the value of J? Well, J has a value of 106. So back to our program, 106 minus 32 and what's 106 minus 32 on the character set? Oh, that's equal to 74. So when we go back into our program, C is now going to get the value of 74, and so it's 74 is stored into C, and it prints out the 74 value, which is capital J. So that's how characters work in a nutshell. And you might be saying to yourself, oh, well, this seems really useless. I don't, I can't even see why I'd ever want to do this. Because number one, all you, a character can only hold one one character. It can only hold one thing. I couldn't even make a sentence out of this if I wanted to. I'd have to make multiple characters and then add them all together, which is obviously fairly stupid, and it really wouldn't have any purpose. But we will learn a way later that we can um, have a whole list, basically, of characters together, and what would be called a character string in C, and it will hold a whole bunch of characters, and basically I could hold a sentence in a, a certain variable. And that will be a later tutorial, but all I want you to get out of this is there's type uh, type character, and um, that's pretty much how characters work in C. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment or send a message. If you like the tutorials, uh, please subscribe to the channel, and I am working to create many, many more tutorials. And also, um, if you're interested in the chapter, uh, let's see, 14 and below test, um, I'm currently working on it, but um, it should be, it will be linked in the next tutorial that I make. Um, so in lesson 16, there will be a test that will review all the stuff that we've learned in the previous tutorials. And yeah, so, and lastly, um, the next tutorial um, will, um, it's delving uh, deeper into a lot of the stuff a lot, a lot of the good stuff programming. So um, the test is actually fairly important for you to uh, go through, and some people have found it useful just to review all the stuff that they learned. And so yeah, that'll be in the next tutorial. And also for this character set here, I will leave a link in the description for all these characters. So uh, yeah, see you next time. All right, thanks for watching.